Hi everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to do this popular AE-like transition. This is going to take two clips, so it's about one second. First, you just want to merge your clips, and then just import your pictures again. Now go to multi-layer, and press 3D. For the first layer, I'm just going to add my background. If you want, you can just keep it plain and simple and just have like a color. I'm just gonna do a simple background and have my picture and turn down the opacity, so it's like this. Once you have your background, you want to add the picture that you want to use for the cube and just go to layout and press cuboid. We're going to add the keyframes later, we just want to make sure that the cube is below all of the other layers. So for the third layer, I'm just going to add my second picture and go to layout and search for pucker. Now press this little arrow and I usually like to raise this all the way up, it just changes the shape of the pucker as you can see. Now go into that layer. You want to make the layout zero in the beginning and at the end you want to increase it i usually do about 80 75 something like that then halfway through your clip so about 0 0.15 0 0.16 something around that just mark down the layout and just add an in graph like this then for the second half just add an out graph just like this for layer four i'm gonna add this picture so whatever picture you didn't use for your cube this time you want to add a mask and you want to add a shape mask and you can either add a hexagon or a diamond, whichever shape you want. Once you've chosen your shape, press this little person to invert the mask like this and then click done. Now go into that layer. First, I'm just going to hide the layer with the cube because again, we're not focusing on that right now. But you want to increase the depth by about 10 to 15. You just want to make sure that there's space between this layer and the layer with the pucker. And you also want to rotate it a bit. I like to rotate it by about 5. And if you want, you can add a rotation at the end. So I'm going to rotate it to maybe 15 or 20 at the end. And, you know, that just adds a little bit more to your transition. Now go back and for layer 5, just copy layer 4. And just copy keyframes from layer 4. Now you just want to increase the depth, I would say increase it by about 10% or 15% for every layer. So I'm just going to increase it by 15. You also want to change the direction of the rotation every other layer. So now I'm going to rotate it by 5 to the opposite direction. And at the end, I'm going to rotate it to 20 in the opposite direction. And you want to just do the same thing, just keep copying the past layer, copy the keyframes, and increasing the depth. This time I'm going to rotate it by 10 to the opposite direction and this time I'm going to rotate it to about 35 maybe in the same direction as I did in the beginning. And copy that layer again, copy keyframes and changing the rotation, also increasing the depth. You can just keep repeating this process until you're happy with the amount of layers. I'm pretty good with the four layers that I have. And once you're done adding your layers, just go back to the layer with your cube. So for me, that's layer two. First, you want to make the size zero in the beginning. And then in the end, just increase the size. And you also want to increase the depth. So it's kind of popping out from those layers. Now I'm going to go back halfway through my clip, so about 0.15, and mark down the path and the size. And again, you just want to add an in graph for both of these. And then for the second half, just add an out graph. I'm also going to add some rotations because personally this looks a little boring, it's just popping out. So at the end I'm just going to mark down the vertical rotation and the horizontal rotation. If you want you can also add this third rotation, it's up to you. And I'm just going to go back to the beginning and just turn this to a random number. I would say do at least 20 or 30. Same for the horizontal rotation. Now just go halfway through your clip and mark those down and add your graphs. Now I'm going to create a master. You want to add all of your layers except for your layers with your background. So for me, that's just layer one. And what I'm going to do is at the end, I'm just going to turn it vertically 
by about 10 or 15 ish and you also want to drag this down so that your cube is still in the middle of the screen just like this and if you want you can even decrease the size a little bit it's really all up to you Once you're done and you're happy with how everything looks, you want to go into each layer with the shape mask and just add outline fuzzy and I'm going to add a black one and you can just change the fuzziness however you want. You want to make sure to do this step at the very end when you know that you're done with everything because for some reason as you can probably see it makes it super laggy so if I try to play it, it's like super choppy and laggy and if you keep trying to change things while the outline is on, it might make your thing crash. So really do this at the very end. 